Hey y'all, this is Anna Alexander. Welcome back to the basement as we are returning back to the high seas of Black Sails, season one, episode seven. What is happening? Okay, Vane is still off manifesting. In the meantime, Eleanor and Anne have killed all of his remaining crew except for Jack. Flint has some of the guns he wanted, but not all of the guns. And Billy is gone. Is he dead? Did he survive? Did Flint in a hand with it? Or was Flint just there? Whatever has happened, Gates is thinking. Gates is thinking. No idea what's happening next. It could be anything. It could be anything and it could be nothing. But here we are, I'm ready. <laughs> I know you are as well. So we're gonna get under the big cozy blanket because it's cozy. I want some cozy today. And my citrus beverage for today is my signature cocktail. This is the Anna B, which is raspberry liqueur. I make from the raspberries that are in my current backyard. <laughs> Lime juice, rum, and ginger beer. Tell me what you're drinking. Is it delightful? Is it refreshing? I'd like to know. Also, full episode watch along is available on Patreon. I would love to see you there. And let's let's just go. <laughs> let's see if Tom's name's in these credits, shall we? I can't remember where he fell in the the line. Could I Oh, oh. He's not in the opening credits. I could go on IMDb and find out, but where would be the surprise and the joy in that? No. Actually, my best friend, she loves to know the spoilers. She will go into something purposefully looking to see how it all ends and then she will watch it. I can't do that. Mm-mm, mm-mm. Easter is upon us. An opportunity for renewal and rebirth both in spirit and the flesh. Oh my gosh, if Mrs. Barlow has the pastor's baby. <laughs> Will not a trace of it linger to mock and torment us? Oh, oh pastor, are you, are you preaching to yourself? Is he preaching to himself right now? As if life itself is... Oh, Jesus, Mary and Joseph. Or was he practicing? Was he practicing? I'm tense now, I'm tense, I'm tense. Mom, Captain Flint's returned. Did you think he wouldn't have? Captain? Oh, a lot went down on this adventure besides just getting guns. Your friend, Mrs. Barlow, you trusted her. We trusted her, and she betrayed us. Perhaps he managed to secrete a message past her men. That hardly rises to the level of betrayal. Captain, yesterday morning, my father walked into town, mm -hmm. stood out on the steps of the warehouse, and proclaimed to the world that the Guthrie's business is finished here in NASA. What was the reaction? What did you think? Representatives. We agreed upon an agenda, and we spoke about the merits of mutual cooperation over tea. So it was bad. Bad? It was fucking chaos. Yeah. <laughs> a consortium with myself at its head and Mr. Fraser as its corporate seal. All this since yesterday. Mm hmm. <clears throat> Captain, one more thing. Mm hmm. The consortium wasn't founded easily and required the assistance of a few other parties. Among them, indispensably, was Mr. Silver. Is that so? Hmm. And I've given him my word in exchange for his assistance that I'll stand between him and your resentment. <laughs> what a day I missed. Yes, it was. Yes, it was. Come on. I think his abilities uh, towards silver, though, at this point, is probably more than just irksome than irksome. Like an annoyance. Fuck Jack. He's gone limp again. Jack is distracted. Do you want something up your ass? You're up my ass already, pumpkin. <laughs> what the fuck is your problem? Oh, 
you haven't tied down. But at the moment, I happen to have quite a lot on my mind. Ship purloined, captain and crew a distant memory. No prospects at all. Well, you got the brothel. Shithole of a brothel, which by some miracle of economics seems incapable of turning a profit. How can you run a brothel here and not make money? I have no fucking idea. That's because other people are taking it. Figure it out. You have to untie him first. Don't you? I hate that feeling. If you've got any thought of working here again, I wouldn't wait too long. What do you mean? Rackham's got no idea how to run this place. We've all got a hand in his pocket. Mapleton would tell him, but she's too busy stealing for herself. Mm -hmm. Oh, ah, 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 oh, I guess Dufresne has earned it and a haircut, too. First election initiation, I'm told. Wow. Done in good fun. Until that gets sepsis and you lose your arm or more. Thank you. <gasps> He's the quartermaster now. But I'm humbled by the crew's faith in me. He's down to just a vest now. Wow. Wow. Does he also get to keep the books then? Or do they need a new bookkeeper? Mr. Dufresne, quartermaster. Who'd have seen that coming? Well, cure man strokes out, it tends to make an impression. <laughs> that was insane. 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 You'll be heading to see her now, then. Why don't you go with them, Gates? Offer. I assumed you'd not want to wait. I'll be back before dark. We'll continue preparations for our departure then. Are you going to follow him? Or have him followed? Just one more thing, Captain, before you leave to see Mrs. Barlow. I think you and I need to discuss the letter that Billy found. And why exactly it is that she believes you're going to betray your crew. Is that what you thought was in the letter? Randall would like a word with you. Council just voted. He's out. <gasps> He's out. I raised the concern about the fire hazard a one-legged man in the galley might present. And like most things, before the council had spun out of control. Mm-hmm. What's that got to do with me? He's got a raw deal, Mr. Silver. The least we can do is let him say his piece. Can you hook him up with Eleanor? It's not fair. I can cook. Setbacks such as these, they often go hand in hand with new and unexpected opportunities. He's a thief. When, is, when are we going to see John lose his leg? He thought I was asleep at Miss Guthrie's tavern. It wasn't Singleton stole the page. It was him. Oh. 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 But he spent the last two days beneath a rather heavy cloud of opiates. He doesn't know what he heard. Get the quartermaster in here. Because Billy's not around. Billy's not around. Oh, this is a turn. It is with great pleasure that we shall now commence our inaugural meeting of the Guthrie Fraser Naft Lawrence Consortium for the purposes of shipping and trade in the West Indies Excelsior. You gotta make that shorter. <laughs> is it anagram? Is that what that is? You gotta anagram that shit. Our maiden voyage. Captain Lawrence, the status of the Black Hind, please. Meanwhile, where's the Scarborough? Mom, a good number of the crew have defected upon learning of their new vocation. Any suggestions for a new source of labor would certainly be well. Oh, no. I told him to get the fuck out, but he wouldn't go. He who? Ah. Oh. Oh. Imagine what they'd say if they knew that you're the reason that they had to chase that ship in the first place. I would like the chance to explain myself. I'm listening. I like this look on Eleanor. I really do. It was not a betrayal. It was... It was not your decision to make. Now you think you can just waltz back in here and pick up from where we left off like nothing happened. Where else would I go? I belong to you. Chattel property of the Guthrie estate. 
Oh, okay. Eleanor, I must ask a favor of you. I have a feeling we know where the new crew is coming from. He has got ridiculous eyes. Ridiculous. Okay, what does this mark mean exactly? Got a chain gang? What is this little place? Sit. You wish to do business? There's a place not far from here. A place fueled by plunder. A place of great wealth. He's talking to NASA, yes? Flying no flag. I know of NASA. He is talking to NASA, okay. She's weak, so she's ripe for the tanking. My men are rich. Wood sells well, and we don't rely on the mercy of the sea. Ooh. Except, how do you get your your logs off the off the island? When you sailed as captain of these men, they sat compadre for you. Give me a dozen of them, and I will bring NASA in line. For him. What's your name? <gasps> he doesn't know who this is? He doesn't know who this is! Wait, what? Charles Vane. I know that name. Is my name spoken as far as Nassau? Is there someone there that connects us? Or is it something else? Do we have a deal it, don't we? Sure. <laughs> Three men. Three men! He's gonna do with three men. My tribute. A share for every three men. Oh. Four shares in all. Yes or no. And you're just gonna okay. <laughs> Is the trust real? Trust, I say lightly. I said for the get the story moving. <laughs> But what is clear is that she desperately wants to leave this place and will say anything in order to make me go with her. Ah. Uh, ah. Uh. You are right that you dissemble. And I look the other way, convince myself that supporting you is in everybody's interest. <sighs> Not after what happened last night. After what happened last night? What happened to Billy, Captain? What happened to Billy? He fell. Did he, okay, did he have help of the bombing sort? Or the human sort? I have fought and bled alongside my men. I have sacrificed more than you could possibly know for their futures. Like what? I know what happened on the Maria Lane. I still kept my mouth. For now, for now, is he alluding to? And I suspect there's been other times when we've been expendable to you. And if yesterday was one of those days, then you and I have a problem. Because Billy was expendable to me. He was a son to me. Mm hmm then perhaps you should have acted like a better father towards him. Not the right answer. Not the right answer. Not the right answer. I can't believe he just said that to him. Perhaps if you helped him understand the world in which he lived, he'd still be here right now. You're not helping, Flint. You are not helping. Where are you going? I'm tired of this. I'm done. Is he done? Is he done? I'm tired of the energy it takes to believe you. To believe in oh, you. Oh gosh, Gates. Are you going to get away? I'm taking this to the crew. You're their problem now. <gasps> I wouldn't have said that. After the Urka has been secured, I intend to sequester a portion of it. 
that no matter how much money they're given, they will drink, whore, and piss it away. Now they have a chance at something better than that. If no one knows, everyone wins. Don't play games with me. I'm quite serious. Who loses? Absent their worst instincts, their pride, their greed, their suspicion, in the light of pure reason, who says no to this? They'll be rich men in a safe place. He is almost wild-eyed. I'm gonna deliver them how? I'm gonna deliver them into something better. Oh, now he's Jesus, okay. No one else knows about this. Then again, this is Randall we're talking about. If you told anyone else, we'd have heard. Are you gonna take this to the Captain Dufresne? Say you're successful in convincing our friends out there to believe your story. I'm not sure you've given proper consideration to what happens next. I don't think he has either. You think they just haul me up in front of the crew, air your story, and that's the end of it? I think you've forgotten one very important detail. The captain. Randall is right. That will be the end of the Urka hunt. He's suggesting that acting hastily could come with a very hefty price. Even if I was convinced, there's still Randall to contend with. Are you suggesting there's some way to guarantee his silence? I can think of one way. <laughs> then even if they wanted to go to the crew, they'd have lost their chief witness. And no one has to die. You're a thief. I'm a thief. Right. Okay. It was nice knowing you. For as long as you sail with him. Wow, this is a motley crew. They'll serve you well. So big bearded guy must know who Charles is, is Charles is. Because you wouldn't just automatically give him 12 of your guys. Is something wrong? You were one of ours. Could not have been easy coming back here. Must have taken great strength. Go on. Take these men. Make me rich. Er. According to him, richer. Well, maybe this will make them follow him more. Or. You don't know me. Resent. But you once did. Him. When I was the lowest among you. And I offer you a chance to be free of this place. <laughs> and you were a strong crew once. Proper pirates. Feared as you should have been. Before he dragged you away from the sea. Before he convinced you to live here. Maybe you should have waited until you were gone. But hey, Charles. How are you getting these guys off of your this island? You got a skiff. Charles, this is not a converse to place to. And once again. Are you gonna get all of them in? And I will show you what life is. <gasps> Was this the plan all along? Was this the plan all along? Oh, oh. I think you need to kill him outright there, Mr. Vane. Either all the men are going to rally around you, Charles, or... I need a word with Mr. Silver. What is that? What just happened? What just happened? He's given me exactly five minutes, at which point he intends to call counsel so Randall can share his story, after which our hands are clean and you are most likely, well, dead. 
Wait, what? A page from one of Dr. Howell's manual. Who's Dr. Howell? You have exactly five minutes to commit it to memory. After which, you will reproduce this page to the best of your ability. If you can do so to Mr. De Groot's satisfaction, then maybe he can be convinced to keep your secret for the sake of the Urko Hall. It's a test. Yeah! Mr. De Groot doesn't believe that he can trust the information inside your head. Certainly not enough to risk his own life, not to mention committing poor Randall to an early grave. Fair? Fair? Fair. It's the best I could do. Wow, this is, this is great. This is great. Compliments of the new consortium. A dead cargo is a worthless cargo. <gasps> oh. I warned you this place would not be any different. But do not give up hope. That's all she has. All she has is hope. Everything fueling her is hope. My decision whether or not to partake in this consortium was predicated on her agreement to lift the ban on Charles Bain's crew. Mm -hmm. I understand she did. Uh, uh, grudgingly. And they've all disappeared. Left for Port Royal, I am told. Mm -hmm. You forced her hand in front of men whose respect she demands in order to run this business. What choice did you give her? Hmm. Everyone's speaking truths here. What well, madness possessed you to write that letter? I tried to tell you. Billy found it. You know I would never intentionally put you in any kind of danger. What was your intent? To destroy everything we've tried to build here for the past ten years? To show you a way out of all this, to free you. A way out? Have you no memory of how we got in? Of what they took from us? Who's they and what's what and what's hmm, I want the story. I sent that letter to show you that you're wrong. There is a life in Boston. He doesn't want to be in Boston because he can't be king in Boston. I've opened it for you. And no. it requires no war, no blood, and no sacrifice. Oh, there's been a lot of blood and a lot of sacrifice. The moment I sign that pardon, the moment I ask for one, I proclaim to the world that they were right. This ends when I grant them my forgiveness. I'm gonna guess she she doesn't know him very well at all. It doesn't lead where you think it does. If he were here, he'd agree with me. Did they have like a throuple going? Did they? That's an idea. I hate Thruple. I like Triad better. Three days for the Urka schedule. Three minutes for whatever the fuck this is. But he, okay. So he just admitted to Dufresne he had the schedule. Hairbrained brained as this test was, you had to be quite certain I was the thief to even think of it. Who told you about me? Billy. Randall, we need to talk. Right now, at this moment, it is just as likely you're the one that dies as I am. John's thinking fast. He's thinking fact. I promise to look after you day and night and give my personal guarantee should anything happen, it comes out of my share. All you have to do is change your story. You're a thief. Are you fucking kidding me? No. No. I took the page and I shouldn't have. I should have count of my blessings to be let off that merchant ship. But what can I say, Randall? I'm not a joiner. I never have been. But I'm willing to do it now. For now. For now. You're a thief. Yes, we understand. You're a thief. You're a thief. Would appear Mr. Randall has reconsidered his position. Uh-huh. Don't look so smug yet, John. Don't look so smug. The war's crew are unwilling to manumit a hold full of slaves. Nor do I have the funds to purchase their release outright. 
The able-bodied males will be taken onto the Black Hind under Captain Lawrence to fill a recent rash of desertions. The consortium has reached an agreement with Mr. Dufresne of the Walrus to trade future subsidies and credits to cover the cost. <laughs> but, but they're still slaves. Thank you. Ah. Uh -huh. But I hope the events of the last few days prove that I can handle myself. It does. Therefore, I no longer require your services. If you're to stay with me, I need to know that I can trust you. Eleanor, Captain Ornigold has extended me an offer to join his crew. If I was Eleanor, I didn't. Know, I don't know if I would trust Mr. Scott anyway. Just because. I'm sorry, but the income you've reported for the past two days is simply too low to be believed. I'm going to have to ask you to vacate your room, make way for someone else. Oh, yes. Yes. Here it comes. Then pony up the money, girl. If you are hoping to manipulate me, you are barking up the wrong tree. <laughs> wrong tree. What did you just service? It was Captain Halling that I saw leave in your room, was it not? And the price we have always charged for mothering is 20 pieces, not five. Mm. A hand job pays five. All Captain Hallendale had time for today was a tug. <gasps> or will you oh. confess your crime now and pray that our new patron is more forgiving than Mr. Noonan would have been? Uh huh. I swear, the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ, this will never happen again. This will never happen again. For your sake, it had better not. Oh, Max turned into a right, right solid pimp there. Get your fucking house in order. Because if the brothel goes out of business, they're all out of work. Right? Unless they get a different owner in. and uh, Will that be better or worse? And then you do, you just resell it again. Is that what you do with the pot? I thought you were going to report back once you returned from Mrs. Barlow's. Oh. <laughs> do you really think it's wise to get pissed in full view of any of your men that may stumble in here? But then there was 36 hours before cast off, so I thought, why not live dangerously? 36 hours is plenty of time for them to find reason to doubt you. Because as you've seen, it's just been a hell of a 24. Tell me. We're not crazy, you and I. I believe in this place. And I believe if there's anyone who can do what's necessary to make it something better, it's you. Oh, we know it's going down. We know it's going down. Well, that's all we get. That's all we get. That's all we get. What a tease. Oh. They are underway. Oh, John, you probably should learn how to cook. Eyes all around all times. Wasn't that the deal? Learn how to cook. <laughs> Must be the luckiest half wit in the colonies the way this all played out. Mm. Part of me suspects there's something else going on here. He's biding his time. I'm forced to wonder if you didn't orchestrate this whole little drama, knowing it would corner me into securing your return to the crew. Hmm. I'm forced to consider the possibility there is a lot more of the old Randall in that head of yours than you'll like to let on. Yeah, wasn't Randall accused of being a thief and because he was the boatswain before? Who's managed to gain the benefits of sailing with these men while avoiding all the risk. Mm-hmm. That perhaps you're a goddamn genius. He's a genius. Mr. 
gates. Just the quartermaster. My God, that's a fire hazard. Wait, was this a is this a flashback? Is this a flashback? What about our friend the cook? It appears to be resolved. If he discerned that I knew about the missing page beforehand, he assumed Billy told me. It may not take him a long time to realize who it was that actually brought me into this. And they're having this conversation out in the open. Actually, it's not Randall that's troubling them. It's you. <laughs> Having had some time to think about it, they're not certain that you're up to doing what's necessary. Oh, is that Stab Flint in the back? For lying, we could forgive. Singleton, we could forgive. We could forgive all of it. But not Billy. <gasps> When the time comes, we need to know that you won't stand in the way. Oh. I understand he's your friend. But once we have the money, Flint dies. Not for me. <sighs> and there goes the dream of Nassau. Well, we're underway. Finally. Who dug up Vane? I was just wondering. If only he weren't so goddamn afraid. Who dug him up? Squelching. We had squelching. Oh! <laughs> and you are coherent enough with all of your injuries to do this. He's going to be like a god to them. Well, that was an ending. Well, that was an ending. Okay, the Vane storyline. Because it's not directly tied into the search for the Urca yet, question mark, question mark. I, I don't know how I feel about it. The only reason right now I want him to succeed is because he's so perseverant. What he's gonna do if he gets power, I don't know if I want him to have power, if he's not gonna use it for good. But man, he's trying. He is trying. And that's the thing is when I watch a show, I want somebody to root for. So right now when everyone's backstabbing everybody, I want Max to succeed. Eleanor, I don't know if I want her to succeed. Flint, I like, I don't know. Everybody else is like, I don't know. I just want Max. Max is the only one that I know for certain I want to do well in life. But the backstabbing upon backstabbing upon backs. Okay, I guess future potential. Everybody... Rephrase, nobody trusts anybody. And, because, and they've done a really good job creating that we have to work together to a point. Everyone's got the right amount of suspicion. Everyone's got the right amount of trust. I trust you to get me, uh, but I'm gonna keep my eye on you the whole time. The Randall thing, you forget because we've had now seven episodes that Randall's Randall where he is because he was the thief himself. So he was devious. He's not all exactly adult brained as we think he might be. How brilliant. There's so, this episode, this episode was weird because there was lots of little brilliant gems, but I'm still, I feel as if I'm still waiting for the story to begin. 
but there are so many brilliant character things and callbacks and whatnot. And now we're bringing Dufresne in. There's another, like, something I wasn't expecting him to be such a part of this. Oh. And we're almost got two more left of the season. But we're finally underway. We're finally underway. Everyone's got a dream. Okay. Where do we go? <laughs> okay. Okay. So there we go. Episode seven. Thank you so much for sharing this adventure with me. And until next time, because you're going to hit subscribe. So you know when, when the next video drops. Um, you're going to take care of yourselves. You're going to stretch your bodies. You're going to rest. You're going to get something to drink. And then you're going to watch the next video in the queue. So thanks, y'all. Thanks again, you all, I should say. And until next time.